Hey, all my rad bookies out there. It's me, B from Tone Fries, and I'm here with Tommy on guitar and Paige on drums. And if you're looking for a book full of sex, drugs, and rock and roll, then we might have something you can jam to. So you may notice that I have a brand new setup here, and this has been my quarantine project where I've been trying to turn my guest room into an awesome chill book nook. So I have a seating area, I've added some posters, I even got two new bookshelves, which I haven't filled up yet, but don't worry, I will, it will not take me very long. And I even found a new home for my buddy Benedict out there. So I thought this was the perfect kind of atmosphere for today's review. So today's review is of Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And Daisy Jones and the Six was voted the best book of 2019 and is set to become a 13 episode series on Amazon. I'm not sure when yet, but I've heard all the announcements and they're posting all of the casting um, that started up in January. So I got this book from Book of the Month Club because of the fact that it was um, voted best book of the year, but I was actually really excited to read it too. So it is an interview style novel about the rise and fall of a rock band in the 1970s, which was really appealing to me because I was raised on that era of rock and roll. So I have to admit that partway through reading this, I actually started questioning myself. like okay, is this actually a real band that I somehow have never heard of and had to check? And yeah, it is fiction, but it is so well written that it feels as though that they should have been a real band. The characters are exactly what you expect. You have the frontliners who get most of the fame and the recognition. You have the one who is constantly at odds with the others and threatening to leave the band. And you also have the ones that are, hey man, I am just here for the music. It is full of sex and affairs and drug use like crazy, but it's also full of friendship and of forgiveness. Not once does Daisy Jones and the Six feel overdone or cliched. It's more like a funhouse fry, like a hall of mirrors that looks at fame. And you can just see everybody's different perspectives and they all look different. And I love that Reed actually added in where the characters contradict each other and they have different memories of how events happened. You can tell that Reed put her heart and soul into this book, going that extra mile to even write the lyrics for the songs that are mentioned throughout the book. And yeah, I totally want to download this album. All of the characters and everything is super fascinating. Um, you kind of just fall in, fall in love with the band as you're reading about them. And as for Daisy Jones, she is a strong, vivacious character, and some might even say she's someone to look up to, although the drug use is kind of questionable. But I think if I'm being truly honest here too, I think the real heroine in this story is Camilla. Daisy Jones and the Six made me want to jam out to my dad's records like I used to. I used to rollerblade around um, her basement listening to Joan Jett and Black Sabbath and Queen and Heart and all of those records that are really, this is all bringing back up for me. And I'm really excited about the series too. That's why I gave Daisy Jones and the Six five out of five. But don't just take my word for it. If you love rock and roll and bands and music in general, Pick up a copy and check it out for yourself and let me know what you think. So until next time, stay home, stay safe, and keep on reading. Like a hall of mirrors through fame different twist damn i almost had it stop or you're gonna get out rude rude
Recruit out your dude.